Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. <coughs> hey guys, welcome back to the channel. <coughs> hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It is a new day and yeah, today we're going to be doing top tips on being a YouTuber. And you might think, why the heck are you doing that? You literally have 20... I can't do seven fingers on one hand. No, I have 24, sorry. Whoa, okay, 24 subscribers. Probably like, dude, chill. That's not too many. But listen here, every subscriber counts. And you know, I just wanted to say guys, I was, earlier today, I was like, huh, let's go into YouTube Studio and see how many subscribers I've gained in the last 28 days. And guys, you want to know how many? 16. That's insane for me. That's, that's just insane. So we've, in the last 28 days, I've gotten more subscribers than I have before. That's just kabloom but yeah today we're gonna be doing top tips on being a youtuber but yeah let's get into it okay guys so we're gonna be doing top tips on being a youtuber now the thing you gotta know is that you need an intro you actually need an intro because if you don't have an intro and you start a video it's just gonna be spitting everything out so one, you definitely need an intro, and I'm telling you right now, I've used literally so many different apps. Just go in the App Store or Google Play or whatever App Store thing y you got, and then just search up Intro Maker and just get it. But yeah, you need an intro, because if you don't have an intro, then people are going to be like, dude... Boring, but yeah, they're not gonna like your video. Okay, number dos You're gonna want a thumbnail now number one thing if you want someone to watch your video and have them subscribe View your video or like it. You gotta have a thumbnail because I'm kind of new about the thumbnail. I used to not have any thumbnails, but now I have thumbnails cuz <laughs> YouTube studio but yeah, I didn't know about that. I didn't know about YouTube Studio. I just had, I just had random stuff in the middle of the video. But yeah, you need a thumbnail because that's how you get views. So you want a thumbnail so that everyone, so that and the thumbnail needs to be interesting. And I've seen videos with thumbnails that literally just have words like, "Oh, we're making a water slide to go into a lake." How do we know? It just says words. You gotta have pics. Yeah, so you need pics on the thumbnail so that people can... It's just more descriptive and stuff, and it sucks people into your video. But yeah, um, number three, um, you wanna... On long videos, I'd say... I consider a long video more than ten minutes. Um, you definitely want subscribers, and you wanna remind them of that. But if you're too demanding, then they're not going to subscribe to you. So on 10-minute videos, like around 10-minute or more, you want to remind them at least three times. And on videos that are less than 10 minutes, you want to remind them at the beginning, right? At the beginning and at the end. But don't be demanding. Otherwise, they're going to be like, I don't want to subscribe to you because you're too demanding. And you just, are you just doing this for subscribers? No. So, you want to remind, but don't be demanding. And then, four. You kind of want, you want a good title. So, along with the thumbnail, you need a good title. And that is goes back to the thing where, when you see it on YouTube, when you see a video on YouTube, what wants you to push it is the thumbnail and what it is, what the title is. 
And another thing is if you want to get um if you want to get a bunch of views and subscribers one day and likes, you got to follow these steps. But yeah. Thank you guys for watching and yeah, make sure to subscribe hit that like button if you enjoyed the content and yeah. I will see you next time. Bye.